Munich has many churches. Some are beautiful, others are the city's landmark, but only one church was groundbreaking for church construction in southern Germany and indirectly led to the founding of the Hofbräuhaus, St. Michael's Church. It is located in the middle between Marienplatz and Karlsplatz. The church was founded in 1583 by Duke Wilhelm V of Bavaria. He can also be seen in the glockenspiel of the new town hall next to his wife Renata of Lorraine. William, who was a devout Catholic, wanted to use the church to make a statement against the Protestants. He had a church built that stood at the transition between Renaissance and Baroque. St. Michael's was the largest church construction site in southern Germany since the late Middle Ages. The model for St. Michael's was the church Il Gesù in Rome. However, it surpassed his model by far. William spared no expense for his church. He had the second largest tunnel wall in the world built in the church, surpassed only by St. Peter's in Rome. The people at the time were afraid that the wall would not be able to bear the weight. However, it was the tower, which can still be seen here next to William, that collapsed in 1590. The choir arches are designed like Roman triumphal arches. This is intended to emphasize the superiority of Catholicism over Protestantism. Duke William V became so indebted during construction that Bavaria was on the brink of national bankruptcy. His idea to generate money by founding the Hofbräuhaus in 1589 was only partially successful. He abdicated in 1597 in favor of his son Maximilian, who inherited a ruined state budget from his father. Nowadays you can visit the crypt in St. Michael's for a small entrance fee. It contains Maximilian's sarcophagus and that of his parents William and Renata. However, most visitors want to see the sarcophagus of Ludwig II, which is just as ostentatious as his lifestyle was. The crypt also contains the sarcophagus of Eugène de Bornet. Much more impressive, however, is his tomb in the church. Josephine, Napoleon Bonaparte's great love, brought her son Eugène into the relationship from her first marriage. He was adopted by Napoleon and also became Viceroy of Italy for a short time under him. In order to strengthen the alliance between Napoleon and Bavaria, he was married to Auguste of Bavaria. However, the political marriage resulted in a great love affair. After the fall of Napoleon, Eugene was appointed Count of Lichtenberg by King Maximilian of Bavaria. He was very popular due to his generosity towards the people. He died in 1824 and his tomb in St. Michael stands in his memory. And what would be a Catholic church without relics? The bones of St. Cosmas and Damien can also be found here. They were healers in early Christianity and are said to have been executed under Roman Emperor Diocletian. The holy water angel in the center of the church was originally intended for the tomb of Duke William V. Nowadays the church not only hosts church services but also many concerts, where you can also listen to the magnificent 16th century organ. I will link more information below in the description. I hope you enjoyed this little church tour, of course there is much more to tell. If you would like an exclusive guided tour of Munich, here is my email address. Until the next video, Philip out.